In a city where movie stars are your neighbors, gunfire and natural disaster are just, oh, ho-hum, something has people huddled against a fence in downtown Los Angeles, smiling, curious, taking pictures. Subway passengers take the escalator up to the sidewalk. Oh, that's right. And there it is, a herd of goats grazing on a hillside among the shining glass towers of Los Angeles. Well, I think it's cool. It's like a natural lawnmower. The city's redevelopment agency hired 100 goats to clear this overgrown vacant lot, a job that would require a crew of men with gas-powered saws and mowers is simply breakfast, lunch, and dinner for the goats. Climb the fence, and you're no longer in the city. I feel like a city slicker in here. Well, you're not exactly a city slicker. You're in the country now. <laughs> this is God's country in L.A. They're very friendly animals. Which way is City Hall? <laughs> George Gonzalez is their handler. I mean, they eat virtually everything? No, they don't eat tin cans for sure, but they eat poison oak, cactus, rose bushes, uh, palm trees, they'll eat all that. They'll eat thorns. Thorns. They eat stage brush, the uh, tumbleweed. They love it. The Community Redevelopment Agency is trying this as an experiment. It costs us only $3,000. If we went with the typical weed whacker, it would cost about $7,500. Are you going to make goat cheese? I wish we could, but these aren't those kind of goats. Goats have no union, no lunch breaks. Lunch, as we said, is the job. <laughs> they never complain which is why landowners throughout the state have rediscovered goats for clearing the dry California brush that so often burns in catastrophic fires. This is what a herd of goats did on a hillside above Laguna Beach in just 36 hours. Goats fed, fire danger gone. They don't call in sick on Monday because they don't drink, and there's no workman's comp and no other insurance that's put for them. They're very good animals. But what no one predicted is what an attraction the goats would be in a place where, it turns out, people are starved for even a glimpse of nature. I used to live on the farm, but I haven't seen anything like this in years, and it's just exciting to see. Why is it so fascinating to watch goats eat? I don't know. They're cute. <laughs> I think it's fascinating. When's the last time you ever saw a goat? Uh, that's a good question. I work with a couple of billion goats. <laughs> but they probably don't work as hard as these goats. This is Brian Rooney for Nightline in Los Angeles.